Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Wanted to take a look at July 4th extreme weather in this area. The hottest we've ever had was during the heat wave drought of 2012. And officially here at the station, we hit 101. The coldest in the morning to start today was way back in 1968 when it was 50. The coldest daytime high, meaning that was a high in the afternoon, was 2008 when it was 68. And one year later, the wettest fourth we've had, one and a half inches of rain fell in 09. Interesting that three of those four extremes happened just in the last 12 years. How will this one pan out? We'll show you in just a little bit. By the way, 90 degree days. Well, we've had six so far this year. We had 25 last year, but the average, the long-term 30-year average is 33. So we're getting there, and we picked up another one of those today. Dew point numbers are really high today. They're in the 70s. We're going to stay in the 70s as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. But even when it drops, see this for the weekend, dew points in the upper 60s, that's not very comfortable. So it's still going to be very humid as we head for the upcoming holiday weekend. Right now, here's our high, 92 degrees at the station this afternoon, but 104 during the drought heat wave of 2012. 73. That was our low early this morning. No rain here. Most of the valley has been staying dry so far today. We have one little thunderstorm, which we'll show you here in just a second in the south. Sunrise, sunset for tomorrow, 14 hours, 54 minutes of daylight tomorrow. River stage in Terre Haute rising, at least for now, at 10.2 feet. Right now at the airport in Terre Haute, 89, but the heat index is 98 because we have a lot of moisture in the air. 61% on the relative humidity. You can see these are the current temperatures, upper 80s to near 90. Dew points are pretty crazy. Low to mid 70s, really uncomfortable. So the heat index 104 Paris, 100 in Vincennes, 96 over in Bloomington, and 102 in Robinson. So the heat is on, the heat and the humidity. See this little spin right there? A little spin in the atmosphere? That's going to lift northeast between now and tomorrow. That will increase our rain chances as we get into the day tomorrow. As that feature drifts off to the north and increases our chances of getting more rain again tomorrow. Tonight, though, there's not much showing up on the satellite and the radar. Dorset Automotive Doppler radar almost the entire valley looking at dry weather with one exception. Down here in southern portions of Davies County between Washington and Vincennes, a little thunderstorm down there drifting to the north slows. There's some heavy rain in that, but that's it. Everybody else in the viewing area looking dry. So overnight, a few scattered showers and storms. The same thing as we head into the day tomorrow. As a matter of fact, pretty likely at some point tomorrow, probably going to be looking at some rain. As we get into Wednesday, the rain chances will start diminishing. And then after that, it looks like drier weather will start to move in as we head for the tail end of the week. As a matter of fact, watch what happens here. By the end of the week and the weekend, drier air pushes in. It's going to be hot, but drier weather, it looks like just in time for the holiday weekend. So here's your forecast for tonight then. A few scattered showers and storms. Muggy, 71. Tomorrow, not as hot. High of 83 with scattered showers and storms. Rain chances diminish later in the week. Temperatures will be hot. Daytime highs in the 90s. A matter of fact, 93 for the holiday. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break.